all right guys we just got out here and uh we're gonna be doing a lot of great fishing today those fish are scattered around quite a bit and um we're gonna be searching around doing a lot of work on structure schools all that stuff and you're gonna see it all here shortly but before we get started we're just gonna run through some of the stuff that we're using right now we talk a lot about the hammer 10 uh the 10 footer um this is my go-to rod um, it's the one I've been working on forever and the reviews everybody loves it it's just fantastic you guys can check that out at three pound fishing.com um, the new three pound fishing reel is also um, on every single hammer it matches up perfect looks beautiful along with the new optimized sniping braid you guys can check that out as well it's available in the pro spool so it's always been available in the 125 uh, yard spools but now it's available in 500 yard spools and people are loving it man we've this this has really flown off the shelf now you pair that up with a hammer you're gonna feel every sensitive bite so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be casting out 30 feet and we're gonna really gonna be paying attention to the monitor because a lot of these bites certainly uh, definitely in the morning hours of the day it seems like these fish aren't striking it hard um, that tends to be more of an afternoon bite right now I don't know why it just happens to be that's the that's kind of the um, the pattern that we're seeing so we're gonna be playing that monitor quite a bit and when we identify that that fish has gone right over the bait that's when we pull and the ability to do that with a hair jig is nice because you don't have to worry about that plastic pulling back so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna catch some fish here and then we're gonna talk about um, again the technique and the things that we're doing and related to catching these fish That didn't take long. Good fish. Nice little eater. So early on in this episode, we decided to move real quick. And while we were doing that, I actually decided to start working on my side imaging, reading it again, uh, trying to find those fish a little bit quicker by utilizing side imaging. A lot of times we just drop our trolling motor and utilize live scope. Well, I thought it would be nice just to start seeing and finding and utilizing SI again to find these schools of fish. And there's our first fish, good fish too. There. Boom. All the way over for that, guys. Right there, slab. All right, guys, some great fish going in the, in the boat right now. Um, let's talk about the stair step um, retrieval it's it's a big technique we use here um, I've decided to name it the stair step because in a stair step you're never going down you're always going up but what you're doing is you're adjusting the speed of that bait so you're going straight then you're thrusting up straight then you're thrusting up and that tends to trigger a bite on a fish that's not necessarily advancing on your bait so we call that the stair step and that's it's just a really great technique of getting a finicky fish to actually follow through and follow up and bite. And sometimes those stair steps are made in a way that accommodates the way that they're thrusting as well. So learning that in time on the water uh, makes that process go a lot better and a lot quicker. But that's the motion, that's what you're looking to do with these fish that are not actually gaining on the bait. And the tip I would give you on that one right there is that I was able to stop it and just give them a chance always give them a shot if you're going to run out of water column you might as well slow it down to a point where they have a shot at it and that's exactly how we caught that fish right there crappie fishing techniques boom we just got that guy too playing these fish when it's a finicky bite is super critical you just can't stay with a constant speed. You have to really mix it up. So going right back into that same school 
and here comes one right here and we're just we're doing what we call a, a, a stair step and the, the reason why you say stair step is because um, you're not going down you're always going up but you're slowing it down speeding it up slowing it down speeding up but you're never going down you're adjusting the, the speed now in terms of my rig setup I use a number seven split shot uh, number seven split shot allows that bait to get down there faster but also allows me to identify it quickly on the live sonar so I'm a big proponent of the split shots, although I don't think it's really good for your, your line because you could pierce it. Um, but it, but it is efficient. So I'm a big efficiency guy in the boat. I want to have as much time as I can fishing and not uh, rigging up, etc. And a split shot allows me to go put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off very quickly. So, all right guys, that's going to end it real quick there. It was a kind of a quick outing, but we had a great time, caught some fish and, and that's what it's all about, right? So, um, hope you guys are enjo enjoying your holiday season. And, um, yeah, can't wait till the tournament season starts off. And we will be at the uh, Collinsville uh, Fishing Show. So, please check us out there. We have three booths. Um, all the, the regular characters will be there. We'll have a great time talking crappie. So, look forward to seeing you guys there. And take it easy, guys.